got to spend it all day together, and um, we just were able to have fun together. Um, and thank you for everyone. And the present sting that won't go away. And I'm comforted by scripture, the book of Psalms, that the collection of poetry that doesn't sugarcoat the realities of the hardness of life, and yet it's anchored in hope of a God who is good. And that's what gave Ben that life-giving joy, that he knew life was real, and yet he had hope in something that was even more real. And I want to read a few verses from Psalm I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. David feeling he knew his God, my God, my God, and that's where he poured his heart out. And I think that's the way for us to really grieve with that present sting. Great the life that Ben lived so, so well. God, we praise you. We want to live for you. We want to live like Ben. In the name of Jesus and all God's people said, Amen. Uh, my name is Connor Van Orden, uh, it's C-O-N-N-O-R, um, last name is V-A-N-O-R-D-E-N. <laughs> ben, what did Ben mean to me? You can see just all the people here. There's probably well over 200 people here gathered and Ben had an impact on everybody's life in a positive way. Um, He's the most generous, the most loving, the most uh, God-honoring man I've ever met, and he was my best friend. He was hand I surfed with that guy. His we went to college together, and he ended up moving up to Santa Cruz. Basically, everywhere he went, he had an impact on his community um, in, a, in an incredible way. For me, you know, he he's, he was the guy that showed up. Um, if you had a problem. He was the first one there. He drove six hours to my house to stay with me, comfort me through a lot of problems I was going through in a relationship. Um, he invited me up to Santa Cruz to, uh, with him to just stay at his, on his couch for eight days um, and just surf, work together, just be together for someone to be there with in like a difficult time. So Ben, what he meant to me, he was a guy, a man that showed up. Um, he was a man that put himself aside um, and just loved others and loved God and lived how you know Christ wanted us to live and I think all of us are a better person for knowing Ben. How he passed? 
So I was sitting on um, a kitchen table, it was Saturday. Um, I was with my wife, we were just trying to figure out what we were gonna eat for dinner, just another normal day. Um, and I got a phone call from his wife and I'm like, oh, that's weird, why is she calling me? And you know, I like to think I'm a pretty fun guy, I answer the phone all spunky, what's up Katie, how you doing? And um, you know, she was very somber and uh, she told me the news um, that Ben had passed a couple hours prior due to a shark attack up in Santa Cruz County. And at first I was, what day is it? Is it April Fool's Day? Like, is this a sick joke? Like, you know, they've only been married for three years. Um, and I was in shock. I'm still in shock. I know a lot of people here are still in shock. My wife ended up breaking down, um, crying, and it was just... It's very hard to hear and digest that, you know, a best friend passing, you know, my wife's best friend is his wife. And, um, but yeah, he basically was, I don't know the full, full details, but basically he did pass on the beach. I know lifeguards were trying to tourniquet his leg. Um, and it was, it was, it's a horrible story, but at the same time, he lived every single day like it was his last. And he knew that that was a potential hazard. I mean, the thing is, is like, we, every time we surfers go into the water, we know it's a risk. Um, we know that we're signing the invisible ink below the dotted line, you know, that there is potential. And I mean, you could look at the stats. I mean, it never happens. But the thing is, is Ben, ben went out in probably the most badass way you can go out. I mean, <laughs> it, it's, it's very rare and he died doing what he loves. And I think it's a beautiful thing. Anything else you want to add? I don't know if you just want to, I know this whole thing with COVID and the stuff is just, it's obviously made doing this very difficult. Um, we didn't get the city's permission for this. Um, I know we need permits for sound, things like that. And um, the lifeguards, you know, they were being trying to work with us. Um, but the thing is, it's like, I just want to honor our friend. And I, people are here at their own risk. People know that. Um, but they're here to love Ben, to honor his family. And the thing is, it's like some, I don't know, some all this craziness that's going on is like I'm not gonna just suppress that and let my friend just like be thrown off to the wayside I wanted a chance to honor him um, and we all wanted a chance to honor him um, and so we were gonna just go ahead and do it anyways so what's the, plan right now? the plan right now is um, we just had the beach ceremony um, just to honor Ben for parents to talk for family to talk um, obviously there's probably about 150 200 people here um, you know, some with masks, some not with masks, um, but we're gonna plan on paddling out, um, forming a circle around the family. We're all gonna, you know, love on them. We're gonna pray with them. We're gonna share stories. Um, we're gonna splash water. Um, and then for those who can't paddle out, they're gonna go on the pier and they're gonna stand above um, and, you know, uh, just try to participate as much as they can. Cause not everyone can surf. Not everyone has the ability to paddle out um, and, and they don't feel very comfortable with that. So um, that's kind of what we're all doing right now. We're suiting up. I'm going to probably head out in about five minutes, um, put some flowers in our suit, and uh, pay our respects to, you know, a, 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 an amazing man.